Uh, shows like Tiger King came out a couple years ago, gave national attention to the ongoing issues of trading and selling wild cats and other animals on the black market. The animals may be beautiful, but they are typically the result of overbreeding, interbreeding, and they suffer extensive medical complications in captivity. In Sandstone, Minnesota, though, there's a wildcat sanctuary, and the entire purpose of the sanctuary is to help remove these endangered animals from those conditions and to protect them. And that's where we sent Minnesota Live photojournalist Bill Mitike to check it out for you. going to go head down to see some of the big cats first. We house over 130 cats. Hello! <laughs> this is Alyssa, so she's a lie liger. I see you, Dash. Hi, Tarek. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tammy with the Wildcat Sanctuary in Sandstone, Minnesota, and welcome to our sanctuary. We've been here since 2006 is when we moved to this property. The Wildcat Sanctuary is a rescue and a natural sanctuary for wild cats in need. Often people see cute and cuddly bobcat kittens or tiger cubs and they think, I can love this cat, I can make it my pet, and that is a bad idea. These predators live to be 20 years old and you can't tell me that in 20 years time a tiger is never going to act like a tiger. Here at the sanctuary, we don't buy, breed, or trade, or sell animals. We simply provide them a home for life in a natural setting. We assist the Department of Justice, the DNR, and the USDA in seizure cases when people uh, have them and there's cruelty and neglect. And so 85% of our residents come from private homes and private farms. Where's the little girl? There she is. <laughs> Indy is one of our most famous cats. She made national headlines when um, she was trafficked and a gentleman in Arizona tried to sell her on Facebook Marketplace for $25,000. Nova here was actually found by the Department of Justice when they went on um, a felony warrant. She was owned by a famous rapper that made national headlines. They are cheetahs. They've been retired from um, a zoo. Good boy. <laughs> So Tarek is one of our, you can take it, larger tigers on the property. All these guys are generic tigers. They've been crossbred. Their whole job was to breed and sell online and to the internet and make money off of the cubs. And so when they come to the sanctuary, we spay and neuter just like you would at an animal shelter because we don't want to see more big cats living in captivity. As a true sanctuary, we really put physical well-being and rehabilitation of these animals first, and that means we're not open for public visitation. We don't do tours, uh, we're not open for public visits, but we do need public support. Most people have seen the Tiger King docuseries, and we were part of that seizure. When Tiger King Park was closed by the Department of Justice, we were there to help, and we have four big cats from that case alone. These two lions came all the way from Argentina. All white tigers in captivity are a product of inbreeding and recessive traits, and so they usually have health issues. All of these cubs uh, were trafficked in Ukraine during the war. The list never ends. Um, our motto is keep the wild in your heart, not your home. Uh, these animals are not domestic pets and when we try to make them domestic pets, they always fail and they pay the price and that's not fair to them. Cool to be uh, that close to them. Okay. Uh, caring for a tiger can cost $10,000 a year. The sanctuary can go through a thousand pounds of meat per day. Jeez. feeding all their cats. They also have their own veterinary medical facilities there where they can treat the cats without having to send them off site. This certainly is all expensive and as mentioned in the story, it does run on private donations. In fact, the late Price is Right host Bob Barker was a longtime donor to the sanctuary. I think he gave around $400,000. If you'd like to learn more about how you can help, how you can make a donation, we do have a live for you on our site at minnesotalive.com. Thanks for that story, Bill.